Good morning, church. Day 5, Psalm 5. In this psalm, as I read it through, I saw three things that sort of jumped out at me that I thought would be good things for you and I to take on board and to think about. In verse 3, David says that he was going to pray every morning. Good thing for us to do, to pray every morning before the day starts, before everything starts to hit us, to be with God in his presence and to pray. David says, I will direct my prayers. Now, in our language, direct, or at least the translation, is to point out or to aim. But in the original language, it actually means to lay out. And it's meant in the same way that in the morning, the priest went into the temple and laid out the morning sacrifice. So David is laying out his life before God in the mornings. Secondly, he says, I will look up. In another psalm, David says, I will look up to the hills from whence cometh my help. He looks up to God for an answer. He looks up with expectancy. You know, when a child comes to us and asks us for something, they look up into our face and you can see eyes of expectancy waiting for an answer. And in the same way, God, David directs his prayers to God the Father. And he directs them knowing full well that only the Father can answer his prayers. In verse 7, we read that David, despite others, which he's just talked about in the previous verses, says that he will determine to go into the house of God to worship. He talks there about multitude of mercy. And his experience, David's experience in his life, he has known the mercy and the grace of God. He has known what God can do in his life. And he goes there to worship for his heart because of the mercy and the grace of God and because of who God is, he wants to go and worship God in spirit and in truth. Psalm 84, David talks about how lovely is thy dwelling place and how his heart longs to be in the temple of God. Then in verse 11, David talks about those that trust in God, despite all that's happening around them, despite all those that don't believe, David talks about rejoicing, worshipping, praising God. In fact, Spurgeon says this, you have permission for joy, you have a ticket to the banquets of heaven, you may be happy as you ever like, you may have divine, divine permission to shout for joy. So David talks about there, because of all that God has done, we can shout for joy and worship. So three things for us to take forward. To start the day in prayer, to worship God with others, hopefully in time, or even alone, in spirit and in truth, and to rejoice in God and all that he has done and all who he is, to rejoice and shout for joy. We have permission to do that. So, three positive things for us to share. Go, have a good day, pray, worship God, and please shout for joy. Thank you.